washrooms or sanitary areas or the toilet, the loo, lavatory, restroom, the gents or the ladies. Whatever they're called, it's likely to be the most visited place in any building and it's also the most challenging place to clean properly. assess the environment of a washroom, it quickly becomes obvious that they require specific cleaning regimes to ensure high standards of hygiene and to prevent the spread of harmful bacteria. This means using products with disinfecting, germicidal or sanitizing properties, which kill 99.9% .9 of all germs. And it's not just about environmental hygiene, it's also about personal hygiene. However good we are at cleaning, it'll be ineffective if we don't have the highest levels of hygiene ourselves. When it comes to washroom cleaning, we must take a systematic approach, and we believe that ours is one of the best. Step one, preparation. We need to get together all the right equipment for the job, the obvious things like a hand brush, cloths, a mop, bucket and wringer, and the relevant cleaning products, but also the right color gloves, refuse sacks, and warning signs. It's important to always wear the correct personal protective equipment, PPE, suitable for each working environment, the equipment, and products being used. In this case, the correct PPE includes gloves and safety signs. Before cleaning the washroom, it needs to be closed by putting up the cleaning in progress sign. Step two, clean the toilets first. Begin by flushing and dropping the water level using a toilet brush. Then add a cleaning product such as Jangro Perfume Daily Toilet Cleaner and leave to give the product adequate time to activate before cleaning and flushing. For urinals, use Germicidal Washroom Cleaner. Jangro offer a choice of toilet cleaners for daily and weekly use, such as these. For sensitive surfaces such as stainless steel and in places that have hard water, the Jangro Acidic Toilet Cleaner and Limescale Remover is ideal. Step 3. Whilst waiting, clean up any rubbish on the floor and empty all waste bins. Be careful to look out for sharp objects such as broken glass or hypodermic syringes. Then clean all communal contact surfaces such as toilet seats, covers and flush handles by spraying the cleaner onto the surfaces. Lovely job. Now that the product has had time to work on the toilet and urinal surfaces, it's time for step four, which is to thoroughly clean the bowl and flush. or wait for the automatic flush with urinals. Now on to step five, which is to clean all fixtures and fittings, which includes hand dryers, light switches, sanitary boxes, toilet roll and hand towel dispensers. For any marks, put the product on the cleaning cloth and take care not to wet any electrical contacts. And once the dispensers are clean, it's probably the best time to refill them. Step six is to clean all vertical surfaces, including walls, doors and mirrors. Clean, working with small, manageable areas. Remember, carefully clean door fittings, such as handles and push plates. Right, almost there. For step seven, clean all the remaining items, such as hand basins. Remove obstructions with tweezers. Spray with product. Then wipe all surfaces thoroughly and rinse out basins. Make sure you pay particular attention to taps to prevent a buildup of lime scale and bacteria. 
Step eight is to inspect what we've done. And if anything has been missed, go back and sort it out. Not only is this important from a hygiene aspect, but it also may impact on our jobs. We all need to keep the customer satisfied. That's better. And then it's on to step nine, which is to clean the floor. Firstly, brush the floor to get rid of dust and other rubbish. Then prepare the cleaning solution. Wet mop in a systematic way, working from the point furthest from the door. Then once the floor is dry, remove the warning signs and return the washroom to normal use. Congratulations, you're done. Care must be taken when using washroom products. Always read the instructions before use. The majority of washroom cleaning products are acidic and have a low pH number because they have to be effective against bacteria and lime scale. The pH scale of seven is neutral and the lower the number, the more acidic the product is. It's a legal requirement to have health and safety information on the label and you must obey the instructions. Most of the cleaning equipment and products used in this module are colour-coded red and yellow, which means they are suitable for use in the washroom. The colour coding is there to help prevent harmful bacteria from being transmitted around a building, so it's important that we are all aware of colour coding and adhere to it. For further information, consult the wall chart and cleaning guide. Jangro Washroom Services are an innovative range of products designed to deliver a clean, pleasant and safe washroom environment. Contact us and we will survey and assess washroom requirements and agree the service level that suits any business best. Uh, what else do you think? We will then assist you to implement the solution. Yeah. Thank you. Products and services include a discreet feminine hygiene service. We exchange the internal liners rather than the bin each time. Plus air care products, soap systems, vending machines and baby changing facilities. An auto sanitizer will prevent unwanted odours and build up of lime scale in urinals. Jangro water management systems will reduce water usage, costs and environmental impact. The Jangro Hygiene Monitor will give your customers confidence by ensuring your washroom is cleaned on a regular basis. Brilliant job, Claire. Give us a smile. <laughs>